In this video, I'm going to show you how to test a Hall effect sensor. We may ask you to perform this test, and using our method, we'll get results we can use to help diagnose a problem vehicle. This video will show you how to confirm the sensor is sending the correct signal to the control module it reports to. Most manufacturers utilize three wire Hall effect sensors one wire being power to the sensor, one wire ground to the sensor, and one wire is the sensor signal. Our preferred method for testing this type of sensor is using a lab scope. This is a must-have tool when working on modern automobiles and will save you time and money when diagnosing. To test using a lab scope, connect the lab scope ground to battery negative. Turn the key on with the engine off. Back probe the sensor power and confirm the voltage is correct. Back probe the ground and confirm the voltage is correct. Back probe the signal while and confirm the reference voltage is correct. Depending on the position of the engine, it could be 5 volts or 0. Remember, always consult manufacturer's wiring diagrams for the vehicle you're working on. Start the engine. The reference voltage should toggle from high to 0 volts. The sensor should be creating a square wave toggling from 0 to 5 volts. If you don't have a lab scope, you can test the sensor manually using a DVOM. Confirm power and ground to the sensor are correct. Confirm the reference voltage is correct. Disable the fuel system so the engine doesn't start. Crank engine over by hand using a ratchet while monitoring the sensor signal. The signal should toggle from 5 volts to 0 as engine turns over. Depending on the sensor and shutter wheel configuration, this may only happen twice per engine revolution. You can also test the sensor with it removed from the engine. Back probing the sensor signal, pass a large wrench across the tip of the sensor to excite it. This will toggle the reference voltage to 0 volts.